You hurt people by blindsiding them. You don't hurt people by being open and transparent. It's fast. I personally didn't feel like I was leading anyone on, so I didn't think it was going to be this dramatic. Shit. Yeah. And it's all good again. The guests really went in on Isaac. I actually felt sorry for him. I know at one point Hannah tried to speak up but realized that she, they weren't going to win. And this was her time to let loose. And Courtney really gave Isaac a piece of her mind. But anyway, I digress. Hey there. Thanks for stopping by. It's your girl Valerie. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'll be reviewing Too Hot to Handle, Season 5, Episode 7. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button, leave a comment, and turn on the notification for when I upload new videos. In the morning, it's so awkward in the bedroom. It's so awkward because of the way Isaac handled the situation between Yaz and Hannah. And Christine eventually asks that, you know, Isaac, the way you moved was mad. Um, I don't think you were fair to Yasmin in the sense that you just got to her, spoke to her, and then immediately changed beds. And Courtney is eating this up because she did try to warn Yes, that when Yes was coupling up with Isaac, that he's going to treat you the same way he's treated me. And even Lewis, if Lewis is surprised by what you've done, they know you've done something bad because even he calls that behavior bad. And Isaac is upset. And then Hannah says she doesn't understand why everybody's moving the way they're moving, why they're so upset about her and Isaac sort of coupling up. And yet when Lewis treated Hannah the way, the way he did, nobody said anything. Or when Isaac dumped Courtney for years, nobody said anything, really. It was just, you know, it is what it is. So uh, they don't understand why suddenly it's such a big deal. And for me, I don't understand why it's a big deal. Because Isaac is going to move on to the next uh, new arrival. So the guests might as well just sit back and, you know, pull out their popcorn and sit and watch who he's with next. And, you know, it is what it, it, is, what it is to the girls that keep allowing him to jump into their beds. Um, they're then called to the cabana and Lana sort of reveals that she's happy that people seem to be making progress in their couplings, but two guests will be arriving. So the two arrivals are Bryce and Lindsay and they get to choose who out of the people in couples that they want to pick. My guy Dre was excited only to realize that no, they're only picking from the couples. So they pick Elise and they pick Loe. Loe is really upset because he says, you know, things are working out great for him and Christine and this is not what the last thing that he needs. And Elise on her part says that normally when things are going well with the guy, that's when she moves on. So she's worried that she is definitely going to try and move on with to this new guy. Um, I don't know. They look amazing, but I don't know how that will play out. So a challenge is set for uh, Christine and Alex to say that, you know, they will be able to watch Elise and Louis on their dates and they can pull them out at any time and swap them out for someone else. Um... Louis, I don't trust him. He's a work in progress. He's still working <laughs> on being good. So I wouldn't have trusted him. And I give it to um, Christine for trusting him for as long as she did. Obviously, they got to watch them on their dates. And Louis was all over Lindsay. He was ecstatic. The fact that he touched her boobs and didn't tell um, Christine that he touched her boobs was shocking for me. Because I thought he would have manned up and told her the truth that, oh, I touched her boobs. That way Christine would know that she was right to sort of not trust him. But then I assume, I guess he wanted, you know, he was really trying his best to be on his best behavior. But it didn't work. Uh, Elise, Elise was surprised though. But Elise comes across as someone who's very reserved and will only open up to the person that she wants to open up. Which is what she's done with Alex. Um, and so I, was, I wasn't surprised that she said no on the day. She didn't agree to sort of do anything that might have been seen as inappropriate by um, Alex. Um, obviously, eventually, uh, Christine pulled Louis out, which was just in the nick of time because left out there, Louis would have done everything, would have dry humped that poor thing and, and would have kissed her after touching her boobs. So... I love how Dre was ecstatic. Dre was just there waiting, eating his popcorn, waiting to be called upon. And as soon as he was called upon, he jumped and he was able to arrive on time. I think the producer scheduled it in such a way that Dre walked in as they were about to kiss and he was able to swap out Lois. Um, Alex shocked me that he trusted Alex. He shocked me, given her history. But then I guess since she opened up to him, he wanted to afford her that trust. Um, they Then Lois came back and he sat down with Christine and Christine owned up that, you know, I'm sorry, but I pulled you out. It's just I was worried that 
you might do something that might hurt me and so he decided not to tell her that he had touched uh lindsay's boobs and it's like why would you do that why would you not just tell her the truth and just save yourself the hassle because obviously the producers are going to tell him anyway so you might as well just say the truth and hope that she forgives you um and then you you have um the girls were sort of megan was really trying to yank uh alex's chain i think because of how he treated her and this is why she was really trying to make him feel nervous that uh elisa was going to cheat on him and she was really trying to get herself sent you know on the date and swap uh, to swap out um elise but alex didn't bite which i give him a lot of credit for not biting so you then have everyone getting ready for the night and alex is nervous but he's not showing it he's nervous i think um the reason why Alice might not have done anything is because um bryce was too overconfident in my liking the way he was talking about himself and the way he was making it seem like he was the prize and everybody was just there to be his backup dancer i didn't like that so i don't know we'll see how it plays out so when elise returns with bryce to the villa you can see that she's really not that into him and i think she got the ache with the way he was behaving on the date and how pompous he was and so you can tell she's not really that into him and alex is nervous i think because he thinks that he thinks that um Elise might have had her head turned and she might be deciding to explore a connection with Bryce, but no, nah, it's not there. You can see that Megan is really interested in Bryce, so maybe that's who he's going to end up with. But as for Elise, Elise is not interested. With And then when Dre returns with Lindsay, you can tell there's already tension there. I like the fact that she said she enjoyed her date with, with Dre um, and she sort of hinted that her sexual connection was more with lewis because he was her type but she really liked the fact that dre brought out a different side of her and uh, you could tell that uh christine wasn't feeling it so christine wasn't feeling it and it's the fact that louis thinks he can get away with this lie i don't know why he just didn't own up and just tell her the truth that i did touch her breast but i realized that i'd made a mistake and i want to sincerely apologize i don't know why he felt the need to sort of tell everybody else the, the other guests to say oh take Lindsay on a tour of the of the villa and it's like why just tell the truth it's going to come out anyway unless the producers are wanting to hold it on for next episode and it's something is a bit off with this season i don't know whether they've got new producers or whatever something is not making sense because the story is yes they're trying to sort of have continuity but it's very slow it's totally different from season four i love season four um and then you have dre in the bathroom with Lindsay, and it's like how did we go from her saying she was more sexually attracted to Louis to her suddenly agreeing to kiss Dre in the bathroom? That didn't make sense to me. That was poor, poor production because it doesn't make sense. It's sort of out of the blue. You can tell that it seems like she's been told first, you need to kiss Louis. That's the impression that I got. But anyway, I digress. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye everyone.